one second um, you know we, we were running our business the next thing we know we have a car inside our store Good evening here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Dewicki. And I'm Robert Olguin. Terrifying moments for shoppers in Las Cruces this morning after a car plowed into a crowded store. Yeah, a 67 year old woman is dead. KFOX 14 News at 5 Selena Madrid arrived at that scene moments after that tragic accident at that Saver store. Joining us live right now to show us the damage from that crash. Also telling us just how many people police say were hurt. Selena? Yeah, Robert, Liz, this is, of course, a developing story, and we have been continuing to get updates throughout the day. The newest update that we have from Las Cruces Police, that out of the 15 victims that were hurt, we do now know that one person was killed. Police identifying that woman as 67-year-old Pamela Nelson, who they say was shopping inside of the Savers when this all happened earlier this morning. Go ahead and take a look behind me. You can see right here this massive board now nailed into the building is where the vehicle crashed into this store, and from what police and witnesses have told us, the vehicle did not come to a stop until it crashed into the back end of this building, traveling through this business. I call it survivor's guilt. I'm usually up in the front. That's my position. It's my job. I should have been up there, if I'm being honest. I'm grateful that I wasn't. Savers employee Elijah Sanchez stands outside the store, staring at the massive scene of first responders, recounting the moments a vehicle slammed through this building, leaving multiple people injured. The chaos erupted just shortly after 10 a.m., as dozens of people, including Agent Guerrero, were shopping inside. We just went in there, trying to do some shopping. Uh, I was going to, walking towards the front, and I hear a loud crash. And I turn around and I just see this car just going through the cash registers, you know, plummeting, pushing all the clothes racks to the side, people to the side too. There's people on the floor, people bleeding. It was, it was a mess. It was scary, terrifying. It does not appear to be intentional at this point, but again, we have to look at it uh, thoroughly. The two witnesses I spoke with said the vehicle involved was an SUV. The car went through the main entrance and it ended up all the way to the back right side. Um, it was a car like just like the Ford Explorer. That SUV sending 10 of the 15 people injured to the hospital. One of the customers who was right there in the front of it, she, she just needed some help being held up and made sure that she was okay, had the support that she needed. If she needed anything, I told her I'd be right there for her. A quick video obtained by another shopper shows the mess left behind. As we slow this footage down for you, you can see broken glass, debris all over the floor. And if you look to your bottom right, you can see Elijah holding up that woman. It's a day he says he will never forget. It's really sad and heartbreaking and I hope that, you know, everyone who's hurt by this is going to be okay. My prayers are out to them. Yeah, a very scary situation today here in Las Cruces at the Savers here on North Main Street. Police do say that the people that were hurt, they ranged in ages from 30 all the way to 90 years old. We do know that police say the driver was a 69 year old woman and what they're telling the media is that the driver accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake, resulting in her to go through this Saver store. Information still very limited at this time. We do not know the condition condition of the other victims from earlier this morning. But as soon as we learn any more details, of course, you can always count on us to bring you the latest reporting in Las Cruces, Selena Madrid, back to you.